Hi. You probably don't know me, but my name is Steve. I was diagnosed in 2004 with multiple sclerosis. I struggled so much with it, but in the past few years, I've learned how to fight it and overcome it even. It starts with the battle against inflammation. I want to share with you the first steps you can take to battle it as well. Let me tell you a story. When I was growing up, my family always took a yearly trip to visit my grandparents. It seemed my sister would always lay out in the sun too long and get a terrible sunburn. What my sister painfully found out every year was too much UV light hurts. But for multiple sclerosis, UV light has huge benefits when done right. UV light controls brain inflammation and brain inflammation is the cause of all of our MS symptoms. Subscribe and leave a comment asking me any questions you might have or just telling me your story. I love reading them and writing you back. UV light consists of a big range of different light wavelengths. They go from weak, which are, isn't strong enough to tan even the lightest skin, to the strongest, which can destroy the smallest bacteria and viruses. During the thousands of years of human evolution, our immune systems have developed and evolved to use UV light to our advantage. But in people with MS, like you and me, our immune systems are quirky. When we don't get enough, our bodies turn against us and attack our brains. You probably want to know the solution, don't you? It achieves both the safest UV wavelength and the best amount to prevent cancer and not burn. It's a UV lamp, specifically a UVB lamp. I use one made by a company called Reminder. I wasn't endorsed to say that. I just use the lamp and it works. Think of it as medication. It gives the same dose at the same time in a safe way. Putting aside all the technical stuff about the lamp, let me tell you my experience in using it. I bought it on April 7th, 2018 from Amazon. The version I bought has been replaced with a newer one. I'll put a link in the description. Using a lamp is safer than sunlight, especially for a white guy like me. I had done a lot of research before buying, so I was confident it was exactly what I needed. But, I'll be honest, I was a bit scared when I opened up the box and saw all the warning labels. The warning, just two minutes at risk painful sunburn when too close to the lamp is intimidating, and it didn't help that I looked like a walking red tomato after using it. But I noticed something. I never felt burned. And not feeling burned gave me the confidence to continue using it. I quickly found my personal exposure time and schedule, and that helped me not look like a walking red tomato. So I've hid it inside to show you the lamp and how to use it. 
Reminder does provide a best technique to find your personal number. It's basically start with just a minute. Then, over weeks, slowly increase that number until your skin starts to turn red. Then you know you've hit your skin's upper limit and you might want to back off a little. My experience made me realize something though. When I first started using the lamp, my skin was very sensitive to UVB light. I really could only take a minute or two. But now, I'm up to three minutes. My, and my skin rarely even gets red. So I'm gonna show you the way I do it. While my skin was sensitive when I first started, it has gotten so much better. I, so I think maybe this is, my, my way of doing it is probably a pretty good way. I split my body into four different regions. My back, my chest, the front of the legs, and the back of my legs. Then I split that three minutes up into one minute increments using my phone's timer. So I start on my left side for a minute then center for the next minute, then right side for the last minute. I expose each body part separated by 48 hours between each time I use the light. That was a little confusing, so let me even make, for example, I start with my back, wait 48 hours, then I do my front, Wait 40 hours. Then front of my legs. Wait another 48 hours. Then finally the back of my legs and wait another 48 hours. That gives a total space of eight days between each time I expose the same body part. I'm not a scientist, nor do I have any proof that this is a good way of doing it. But my skin is telling me that it's right. I know for a fact that skin cancer rates go up the farther you get from the equator, which doesn't make sense at all. Shouldn't they go down? But I think a major part of skin cancer is skin burning. In my own personal case, my skin has toughened up a little because of my lamp. So, can I burn? Of course I can. But I'm very aware of that fact. And it always reminds me never to be careless. Don't forget the goal. UVB light suppresses MS and inflammation and lowers the severity of our symptoms. Doctors never promise MS drugs will make MS improve. It's the fine print that most of us don't even think about. The drugs only slow MS progression. I stopped thinking that was enough. I wanted more. The day before I bought the lamp, my immune cells were geared to causing inflammation and driving my MS. I'm going to explain my progression of using the lamp like it was a week on the calendar. Let's start on Sunday. I wanted to know how long immune cells live for. Just an estimate to gauge when I might start feeling things. What I found was around six months. So I told myself to just remain consistent. But how it played out was a little different. Next day, Monday, I grew up a little. It's not a switch. 
It's not like it's one day MS feels terrible and six months later MS is gone. What needed to happen was the old MS causing cells needed to die and new immune cells needed to be born. But they don't do it all at once. Tuesday. My MS still felt bad, but not horrible. Ever so slowly, UV light started showing me little signs. Thursday, I hit my one year mark and I really started to feel the effects and the benefits. <sighs> now I don't know what day I'm on. Maybe Friday, maybe Saturday, but what I definitely know is I feel MS is behind me. Like it was a distant nightmare and I survived. UVB light needs to be combined with eating a one meal a day diet to stop excessive inflammation. But that's just to stop MS. Weightlifting and sleep are combined to restore the cells that were attacked by MS. And boy, it feels amazing when things that I thought were lost forever started coming back. I'm to the point now where I don't have any symptoms. And like I said, most of what I've lost, I've gained back. I still need the smoothness in my gait come back it's getting there. What is far better though? I have this amazing feeling every morning when I wake up. I guarantee you, you will too. Thanks for watching. More than anything, I want to help you. Comment below and tell me if you subscribed and have bought the lamp yet. I've made many different videos about it. Watch this playlist teaching you how to use it.